What is good, everybody? Today, we are back with brand new AEW action figure news. AEW Double or Nothing is taking place, and they sort of did a fan fest style deal. It wasn't really a fan fest, but it was a spot where you could show up, and they actually had figures on display. It feels like we are renewing that in the AEW figure realm, which made me excited, made me happy, man, because I feel like it's been so long since we've seen new figures, and you'll kind of see that unfold as we get into these reveals here, but I'm excited for them. We saw a lot of really cool stuff. We saw some stuff that made my head scratch, and we're going to dive into every single thing that we saw, man, so with that being said, let's dive into it. Now, I want to start things off with this right here because I think this figure could be an all-timer right here from AEW. We have this brand new unrivaled AEW Jeff Hardy. Now, I think this is unrivaled 15 or 16 Jeff Hardy. I want to say it's 16, but look at this Jeff Hardy. You guys know that we did just recently get his Unmatched Series 9 figure, which was the first Jeff Hardy we're getting from AEW, but we have this really beautiful face paint. It's got a really good hairstyle on it. It's got the yellow, white, and black. I love the pink sleeves on this guy, man. That looks so damn good. He's got his baggy pants in there. One thing I also noticed is it looks like he has supreme feet. Am I tripping? It looks like he has supreme feet, and I don't think these are a reuse on the feet, so does this mean that a supreme Jeff Hardy is in the works? Could that be the case, or did they just give him this extra articulation? I'm not entirely sure, or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe that's not supreme feet, but that looks like supreme articulation on the toe right there, so I don't know, but everything going on with this figure looks amazing. I like the face paint, the pink sleeves. I love the mesh shirt. I love the cloth towel coming out of the back. We didn't get a ton of images, but we did get a couple there, as you can see, and I am so excited for this Jeff Hardy. Not only did we see Jeff Hardy though we also saw Matt Hardy now what's very interesting is AEW by Jazzwares and Ringside Collectibles uploaded a video of the booth and Matt Hardy was on display next to Jeff Hardy and I did snag a screenshot of it that I'll put in there but then they quickly deleted the video both of them quickly quickly deleted the videos I'm pretty sure both of them deleted the videos and then they re-uploaded it without Matt Hardy in the display I guess because Matt Hardy is no longer in AEW they wanted to you know not I, I guess advertise him right so that would make the most sense but I do believe the figure is still coming. I don't think that the figure is shoved. So I have it on good authority that I think that Matt Hardy figure is still going to come to fruition, which is huge news for us because the Matt Hardy figure looks damn good as well, man. It's not just the Jeff Hardy that looks amazing in the pink with the mesh shirt and everything. The Matt Hardy figure is also killing it. I am really liking this Matt Hardy, and to me, this is a hell of a lot better of a selection of a Matt Hardy than we saw last time. If you look in here, you can see the details made out. It looks like he has like pinkish, silverish, goldish pants with a custom Hardy Boy shirt. The head sculpt looks really good. I like the way the arms look. This is sick. This is a sick Hardy Boy tag team right here, and I think these are going to do wonders. Cannot wait to actually see what they look like in person, but all all the signs that we're seeing here looks great. This Jeff Hardy made the day. If they didn't reveal another single figure, this Jeff Hardy made me pop hard. So I was losing my mind over the Jeff Hardy. Can't wait for it. It's it's better than I could have imagined. The only thing that could be better, I guess, would be a Supreme version of him. But we'll take what we can get. But the Hardy Boys are looking damn good. I wanted to get him out of the way first. The next figure that we have is going to be Jeff Jarrett. Now, this is the ringside exclusive that is coming soon. If you guys want to pre-order this figure, it should be coming in stock any week now, man. When you look at this and you see that Jeff Jarrett is pretty much fully finished, head sculpt looks good. He's got his entrance done. Duster. He comes with a red guitar. Really damn good looking Jeff Jarrett right here. Now we don't have like all the bells and whistles. Some of these images are weird. I don't know exactly like some of the angles. You can't really make out the full figure. You kind of, you know, you have to, some of it has to be left up to imagination, but I think that it looks pretty good for the most part. I love the entrance duster. Almost looks like Big E walking out there. You got the damn guitar. Really good head sculpt on this guy. Anybody wanting a Jeff Jarrett, I think this is a great one to appetize you until we get a later Jeff Jarrett, either from AEW or Jazzwares or from WWE if he returns. We'll get that ultimate maybe, but this Jeff Jarrett figure looks pretty damn good. I like the silver and red, very, very clean figure, and I'm happy to add a Jeff Jarrett to the collection. I don't think I've ever owned an official Jeff Jarrett in years. I mean, it has to be since I was a kid, maybe way back in the day, so I would love to see a new Jeff Jarrett, but we're moving on to Switchblade Jay White. Now, this figure is interesting because we just covered this yesterday, but we covered the, you know, the render shot. We covered the CGI video they put out of this guy, and I like the texture going on on the pants. I like the parts that were going on. The only thing I don't like is the damn Young Bucks arm mold they gave him. I think they could have done a different arm mold. I just think this looks so skinny and the head looks a bit big, but I will say, I think once it's painted and stuff, it's kind of weird because it is an unpainted prototype. It's kind of difficult to make out, but the likeness is good. I like the necklace too, and I like that we're going to have that stitching on the pants, which is something that's very synonymous with Jay White's attire, but this figure looks pretty damn good. I'm, I'm enjoying this, and you can kind of tell that the figures aren't fully together. They, they're kind of standing a little bit wobbly there. Hopefully, all that will come to pass. I'm, I'm 
guessing that Jay White, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm guessing that Jay White's figures are going to feel in hand like Darby Allen and Kenny Omega do. And I think they're going to feel really, really awesome in hand. So we'll have to see when the figure comes to us. But I'd imagine this figure shouldn't be too far in the way. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know we have the Jericho housing coming. We have the Jeff Jarrett coming. I imagine this figure won't be too, too long before we have it in hand. We do have this prototype here, but I think we're going to blink and we're going to see it. Maybe at Comic-Con, we'll probably see pretty much what the figure is going to look like. And it should be shipping sometime after that. So we'll see what comes of that. But I do like the Jay White. I like it a lot. If you want, you know, pictures of the renders, if you want pictures of the packaging, go check out our video from yesterday of WWE and AEW action figure news. We're moving on to the unmatched Series 10 Kenny Omega and Young Buck figures that look really damn good right here, man. Now, the only thing that sickens me is this Kenny Omega attire is the same attire he would... This actually, this figure is from his match with Brian Danielson in September of 2021, I do believe. So that just kind of tells you how late this figure is coming out. Probably won't get it for another month or two, maybe even around Comic-Con season. I'm not entirely sure. It does seem like they're releasing Unmatched and Unrivaled on Eclipse. So, you know, we just got an Unmatched 9 wave. I, get, I guarantee that in June, we'll get Unrivaled 15. In July, we'll get Unmatched 10. In August, we'll get Unrivaled 16. If you see how that works, it may not go exactly that way. That's just kind of how I'm booking it in my head. But we, I like these bucks. These bucks do look like they're using some reuse from their previous Walmart exclusive figures. And you guys know that Walmart exclusive figures are what typically repaints of existing figures. So that's probably what the deal is going to be here. You can see that their tassels are not in their faces. It looks to be new head sculpts here, which is good. They come with some necklaces. They have the, the championships there, which looks really good. Man, I'm, I'm excited for these. I cannot wait to see what gear it actually is, and hopefully it will be very toyetic. And they're not wearing the jacket, so that gives you incentive on to pick up the Walmart versions versus these versions. I hope they're not in the exact same gear, just the Walmart versions have jackets, and I feel like that won't be the case since these aren't ready yet. I feel like if they were the exact same figure just with jackets on the torsos and arms, it would already be kind of finished here, right? So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I would like to see some new gear here from these guys. But Kenny Omega looks good. We've kind of known about that figure for a very long time now. But behind there, you do get Brandon Cutler, who does look good. And he comes with a slew of accessories. He's got the little satchel. He's got his face mask. He's got the spray can. And this figure is very toyetic. If you look at his, you know, his tie-dyed stuff, I think that figure is going to be really, really cool and look badass. So again, very outdated figure, you know, not up to date or anything like that. But I still like it. I like it a lot for just parts and interchangeability and you know, any promo gear of any character I'm going to be on board with. So I'm excited for this figure and hopefully it will be coming to fruition very soon. We're getting into some more prototypes here and we're going to be talking about Adam Copeland. We have our first edge look here and this figure looks pretty damn good. I'm liking the, the likeness. I like the, the entrance vest here. He comes with the rocker hands or the devil horn hands. I like the formula on the lower half. It doesn't look like he's going to be too tall, hopefully, but we will see. I like the kick pad mold that they're going with. It looks to be a new kick pad mold we're getting on this edge. And I like that, man. I, I think that I don't really have any issues here. It's going to be difficult until we see what it actually looks like when the technology is printed on, when the paint apps are applied, all those things. But at the same time, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And it's, it's kind of funny because this entrance vest kind of looks like the Ultimate Edition entrance vest just with the arms ripped off. And, you know, it's mid-cut to be a vest instead of a duster or entrance trench coat deal. So we'll have to see. We've known about this render for a while, but now that we see it in prototype form, kind of builds that excitement towards the final product of an Edge or Adam Copeland AEW Jazzwares action figure. And I can't wait to do the comparison with a WWE Mattel. At least we know that this Edge is going to have a better, more accurate torso than the Daniel Bryan torso that Mattel always gave him. But we're moving on to the next figure, which is going to be Kyle O'Reilly. And you guys can see he's kind of standing a bit weird, but I am liking this formula. I think that it's going to be a solid formula. Head sculpt does look like it has some good likeness. I'm just hoping that, you know, all things check out and it doesn't look ugly when it comes out. But from here, I mean, it looks good. I don't know what gear it's going to be. I don't know all those bells and whistles, but I still think it looks good for the most part. Head sculpt, haircut, beard, all of that looks really nice. And I love Kyle O'Reilly. So the more the merrier. Anytime we get to expand our collections, expand on our rosters, add new talent to our to our AEW figure shelves, all aboard, man, all aboard, and I like to compare it to their Mattel counterparts, so that'll also be fun, but Kyle O'Reilly's also getting a figure, and we also saw a Jericho housing on display, and this is a figure that should be coming any week now. I imagine this is going to hit Ringside Collectibles. You guys know it's Ringside Exclusive. If you want to grab it, go over there, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. It is Chris Jericho wearing Dan Housen makeup, and yesterday we took a look at some promo shots. Now we have an in-person look at the figure, and it looks about what I expected, right? It's got the curse hand. It's got a lot of cool things going on with it. Not my favorite figure ever, but I like the cloth cape, and I love Downhausen, and I like Chris Jericho, so yeah, you know what? It's, it is what it is, man. Skip it if you don't like it, or hate on it from afar if you want. Or buy it and burn it. I don't care what you do, Brad, but it's there for you. Then we also have a look at Adam Cole. Now, I could, I guess I could have sworn yesterday when we talked about the Britt Baker figure, which is also in this video, I talked about them doing Adam Cole from the same era, or that same exact moment when he had the pink gear, and I guess when I said that, I must have been thinking that the figure is already coming, because we're getting this boom head sculpt on Adam Cole in the pink gear, 
and I don't like the formula that they use for Adam Cole, but uh, it's still a cool figure. I'm still going to grab it. I, lo I love Adam Cole. He's one of my favorites, so this is going to be awesome. I love the championship. I love the pink attire. When he actually came out in that, I was very excited for it, so getting it in figure form is definitely going to be something on my to-do list, but I like the new head sculpt that we got for Adam Cole here, even though I don't really care for his formula. We'll see if any adjustments can be made there. But we also have a look at Daniel Garcia, who is uh, doing a nice dance-off right here. He's got a cloth towel. I like the blue gear. It's looking pretty good, man. You know, he, you know he's, he's hip he's hip thrusting. He's doing all the good things that he likes to do. I like the black towel. It looks like a damn dish towel, like a massive. He looks like he's going to the shower with it, but we'll take it. We'll take it all day, and it looks good. It looks good. Not updated or anything, but I will take new talent, like I said. And then we have Elite 56 Samoa Joe redone here in AEW figure form. It looks pretty good. It's essentially a repaint of his first figure, the Target exclusive figure, and not that much changes. It is just in green instead of red, and I feel like I relate Samoa Joe more to red than green, but it is cool, and the first figure was good. It wasn't perfect by any stretch. It still has the baby hands, it looks like, but the Samoa Joe does look like Uncle Tim, and you know, we love Uncle Tim. We also have a look at Soraya or Paige here, and I do not, I uh, just said Paige here, if you get that, Jesus. But I don't really care for this head sculpt. I think that the render possibly looked more like her than this right here. I'm not really feeling this that much. I, I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not necessarily feeling this is the, the, the greatest, man. Head sculpt doesn't look that good. It doesn't really look like Soraya to me. And then the jacket is what it is. Definitely going to be taking the jacket off. But I don't know. It is cool. She has her sternum tattoo and everything. But at the same time, just not really looking forward to the Soraya after seeing this image here. But it could be better in person. That does happen sometimes. You look at a figure in a regular image or a shot from a event and you get an hand it looks completely different that happened with the roman reigns the elite 110 roman reigns i saw it in person was like oh that looks awful and then i saw the promo shots i'm like oh wait it may look good so now it's going to be up to the review to determine if the figure's any good so we'll have to see about that but the soraya figure is there and we also have this new brody king love the face paint right here brody king's figures feel so good in hand and pose around so good he's so toyetic he has a lot of bells and whistles this is a great brody king add it to the laundry list of brody kings that we're going to be getting i think we already have three this will make his fourth figure and every single one of them check off the box of bad ass and I think this is another one here and it's not that much different but it's certainly worth noting that it's going to be a great figure but that is our Brody King and we also saw Britt Baker which is the other half of the Adam Cole we took a look at this yesterday in the render images or the kind of you know promo shots that were in package loose but this is kind of a better shot we get an up close look at it it is a repaint of the AUW unrivaled 10 Britt Baker essentially and that's what it is same boots same pretty much formula from head to toe it's just repainted with the uh, black pink and white attack and it looks good it comes with that Owen Hart championship which is also so awesome that we touched on yesterday but if you want more thoughts on this you can check out that video from yesterday but we also had a look at Adam Page and Hangman's not looking great right here man I do love the gear but that head sculpt's not it I like the boots love the attire like the white with everything the belt buckle the vest it all looks great I just do not like this head sculpt head sculpt they were saying it looks like Chad Kroger looks like this guy looks like that guy it definitely doesn't look like Hangman to me I think that his other head sculpts were much better and so I think the smiling head sculpt the straight head sculpt I know they were going for a yelling head sculpt for Hangman but I I don't know, man. Not not my favorite head sculpt right here, but everything from the neck down looks immaculate. Hopefully, he'll feel really tight and good in hand, and that will be really good stuff. So, we'll have to see once we get it in hand, but it is what it is. You guys can let me know what you think, but we also have a Wardlow figure. Now, I gotta be real, man. I, I'm as big a Jeter fan as any. If you guys get that reference, you're a real G, but I love Wardlow. He's one of my favorites in AEW, has been since I, I watched the guy wrestle in the ring and see this guy on my television, and he is he is so good, and I just don't like this gear, man. I think that they could have done so many different gears that, that are better than this, but it is a Wardlow. I love Wardlow. I'll be grabbing it for sure because I love Wardlow, but damn, man. We do have a new head sculpt here. He's kind of gritting or pissed off. Uh, not my favorite. Not my favorite by any stretch, but still a big Wardlow guy, so I am going to be copying this, and I'm ready to get the new haircut, you know, where he's not, like, got the man bun, but he's got, like, it's kind of, like, messy in the front. Uh, that would be a really cool figure to see, but I don't know. This is definitely not the best gear they could have chose, but it is Wardlow, so we're, we're copping this one regardless, but I don't know. Could have been a different, it could have been a better gear. Could have been a better gear, but then we have this really amazing ammo black and gold gear here from Penta and Ray Phoenix. These are unbelievable. Every time I see these guys, I'm like, oh, they can't get that much more Toyetic, and then bam, they drop it on us, and they look even more badass than the last set, and these are just unreal. Every single time they release these guys, it just gets better and better. I love all the bells and whistles that we see here, the camo gear. Oh, man, like, this is gonna look so good up on on the Death Triangle slash Pentagon and Ray Phoenix shelf with all of their masks and all of their different points of emphasis that these guys have going on. What great figures these are. Ray Phoenix and Pentagon just they always go over the top and they do it again right here, man. It just, they bat a thousand. Maybe their figures may get loose sometimes, not gonna lie, but in terms of how they look, I mean, they are crushing it right now. But the last 
figure that we have, man, is going to be this new Darby Allen. And I gotta say, this Darby Allen's not that good, man. Not really feeling it. I don't know if this jacket is accurate in this colorway or if that is just a prototype jacket, but it is gonna be a rubber jacket regardless. It has the old Unmatched Series 1 head sculpt, which I thought was strange. I think a straight face or just a determined face would have been better. I guess this isn't bad. Like, he's kind of grimacing a little. And the face paint's fine. I just think that, I don't know. I think that it would have been different, but I hope that, like, his tattoo deco is better. I hope, it, you know, all of his tattoos are on there. Hopefully, they get the skull tat in there. If this was after the skull tat, hopefully his sleeve looks better and it's not just gappy and everything because his sleeve is completely full now. He has that tattoo going up the side of his neck onto his skull. He's got, you know, the throat tattoo. I do see the Ain't Life Grand tattoo on his throat and everything. I'm sure he'll have the spine tattoo. So, all those things are worth noting. It's just, and even the hand skull tattoo, like the skeleton hand on his left hand does look really, really good here from this angle. So, we'll have to see if it does come to fruition. But I think that is all of the news that we have for the AEW Double or Nothing reveals. There was a lot, man. I was just, I was so happy. Hopefully, I mean, maybe we may even get it even more at the time that you're seeing this video. So, we will have to, of course, play that by ear and see. And if they reveal anything else, I'll, of course, get on here and cover it with you at, at great length. And we'll dive into all the details and lore of all the figures. But I was just excited to see new figures from AEW, man. Sometimes, you know, I get worried. I'm like, damn, like, it, it, where's the new figures, man? And then, you know, they'll drop them out of nowhere and everything is right in the world. But it was nice to see new figures coming and hopefully, you know, they don't want to show too, too much off. And so maybe they learned their lesson from the past on that. I don't know. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up our AEW action figure news. I'd love to know where you guys stand on this down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you fellas over there, man. You guys are absolutely goaded as always. Love each and every single one of you guys, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Leave me your thoughts down below. Leave a like on the video if you will. I'd greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you later.